In today's video, we'll take a look at how to rename a simple file in C. So you notice here I have opened a folder to the project itself and I have a number two dot that file and I want to rename this to let's say number three dot that. How to do this? Very simple. There's a function called rename. So rename and it takes in two parameters the old file name that is going to search for and the new file name that is going to rename to. So I can say here simply number two dot dot and then let's rename that to number three dot dat. That's it. If I try to run this, you'll notice that now number two is number three dot dot. So we did rename this one properly. But there's a few questions. Right? Like, how do you know that the renaming process is successful? Well, you do that by taking in the return values. First, let's take in the return value. It's just an integer. So int result equals that. And rename basically returns zero if it's successful and something else otherwise. So you can say here, if res is zero, then we know it's successful. So I can say here, file renamed successful right otherwise we can say print f failed to rename file just like so now if i try to run it since number two does not exist anymore we should get an error and you'll notice we get failed to rename file so that makes sense because number two doesn't no, does no longer exist. We only have number three. So if I, let's say, change this back to number two, simply like that and run it again, I get file renamed successful. And of course I get my file renamed here. So we know that that works. Now, another question arises from this. Well, how do you know what went wrong? Like, okay, sure. There might be that the file is actually missing, but there might be some uh, differences in permissions so that I don't have permission to actually rename the file because you might know that uh, every process you run basically takes permissions from the users that you run it with, right? So if you're not an administrator, you shouldn't be able to actually rename uh, administrator files, right? So how do you find out what actually went wrong? Well, to do this, we have to include two libraries, actually. One of them is R number dot h, so R and O dot h. And the other one is, you might know about it, is string dot h. Right, so first, what we need to do is a, to declare a place where we want to store the actual error message. So I'm going to say here, char, I'm just going to call it buffer, and just declare it with 256 characters for no particular reason other than 256 is a power of two. Now, what happens behind the scenes is that rename actually, aside from just returning a result, it also sets a certain global variable called R N O, right? And this R N O is a number that can be translated into a string through another function call. Right, so I can use here the function called str error underscore s because I'm using a newer compiler and it's recommended that you use this instead of the normal str error function. But str error underscore s takes in a basically a place in memory to store the error message. I'm just gonna pass in the buffer and the amount of characters I have at my disposal. I'm gonna say here 256 and the error number itself. So here I can pass error no. So now I have the error message here. I can just print it on the screen. I can say fail to rename file with error percent s. And I can say here, I can pass in the buffer right here. I'm going to get the error message right after the colon here. If I try to run it now, you'll notice fail to rename file with error, no such file or directory. So that's that's the message that you get from the operating system saying that, oh, you can't rename that file because this happened, right? So, uh, and this, these messages are operating system uh, specific. So in Linux, you might get a different string, a different set of errors on Windows here. I do get a, uh, 
this this error in this case if you're on an older compiler you can also use str error without the underscore s right? this guy just takes in the error number and returns a pointer to the string uh, that retains the message itself don't worry you don't have to deallocate the string it's just uh, they are statically allocated one thing to keep in mind is that my project even though uh, i have my number three dot that here uh, you notice my exe is not in here, only my main C is in here. So this, this path is actually just uh, relative to that main.c for Visual Studio. But if you're running other IDEs, they might actually need the file to be, uh, or the file path to be relative to your executable. So you're gonna have to find that executable and place the file that you want to rename in there, or just simply provide a relative path with uh, dot slash or something like that in it of course you can do that and that's it really that's all there is to renaming a file very simple just a bit of more complicated process to actually get the error itself if you do have any questions do leave them down in the comments below or on our discord server thanks for watching take care